So hi everyone, my name is Johan Gustafsson, I'm the CEO of Viseba Care, which is um, a software solution for healthcare. Um, three years ago, three friends and me, we embarked on a journey to create a solution for a better healthcare. Um, we looked at how healthcare was delivered back then and uh, saw that it was not available. It wasn't exactly simple for me as a consumer, as a patient. And it was definitely not sustainable when you have to drive forever just to get to, to a hospital for a five-minute visit with your doctor. Um, we didn't think that made sense, and we decided to change that by using new digital technology. So what we do today is pretty much offering a software solution for healthcare providers that enables them to take care of patients online. It could be a video visit, it could be text messaging between patient and, and doctor, uh, it could be online booking, drop-in, uh, waiting rooms, etc. Basically, with what we're offering, um, a healthcare provider can, can create their own patient workflows and design that according to, to their needs. And then we brand the entire software with each healthcare provider's graphical profile and release mobile apps so the patients can easily access their healthcare provider. That's what we do today. Oh, I only had one picture. Um, and, and I think it's interesting what just happened, the, 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 the presentation before, because when we look into the future, um, and how we are moving our development forward. A lot of the things that we're discussing is how do we implement artificial intelligence to help healthcare providers deliver healthcare more efficiently to, to, to meet tomorrow's demands. And how can we make solutions that have a much, much higher level of interoperability, which is connecting different systems so healthcare can, can really be simple and sustainable and efficient like it should be. And that's our vision and what we're doing. And actually, our first step um, as a young startup three years ago um, was that we uh, received an email from the guy over here. Uh, that actually was kind of the first step for us to, to, to create something new. So with that said, I'll leave it to you, Eric. Thanks. Thank you, Johan, for the introduction. Um, yes, my name is Eric Mandelin. I'm a chief medical officer for Doctagon LTD. And I'm uh, also Johan's first client. And uh, I'm ha very happy for that. Uh, I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about our, uh, our uh, video appointment system, how we use it in our daily work as doctors, but uh, first a few words about uh, our company. Uh, we are a 100% Finnish uh, owned liability company and we are working with, uh, uh, we are a healthcare provider and uh, we are working in over 30 municipalities and cities in Finland. We deliver services to both uh, private uh, clients and then to corporations and uh, to the public sector to corporations in form of uh, occupational healthcare services. So what happened then for those three years ago with Viseba was that we actually had begun our occupational healthcare services or uh, producing them for two years ago and we were thinking about uh, as a new provider that how could we differ from the rest of the market? What is new? What, is the, what are the new things, new solutions, new ways of, of, of serving the client? What are the new channels we can use to serve our clients uh, which, would, which would give us a competitive advantage? And uh, well, one of these ideas well, that, that was then that why, sh why couldn't we use these, with these new uh, digital channels and, and that's how we then landed together with Viseba. And, uh, and uh, we uh, then launched the first uh, um, uh, video appointment system in Finland for in healthcare in 2014. And we launched it with our occupational healthcare uh, clients and uh, we learned that it was quite a practical way to, for example, the first time to meet the patient physically and then after that 
the follow-up was made by video, and it was quite convenient way, especially with the patients with, for example, long sick leaves, and which were which are followed up for months. And uh, from there, we then uh, moved on to uh, services uh, for for uh, private clients or private patients. Uh, we opened a, a net line, a net booking system where you could then book a um, uh, digital appointment with the doctor with a video uh, appointment, and uh, from there, quite soon, then we also opened a digital. Uh, e-waiting room where you could then, with acute problems, for example, you could then enter and, and have an acute ac appointment with your doctor, and that's, that's going on uh, at the moment also. And, and the, the, uh, the volumes are increasing there. Uh, so what can you then take care of like, uh, as an like acute problems? Well, for example, flus, gastroenteritis, infections, eczema, uh, different kind of... Uh, 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 prescriptions, for example, for vaccinations. We have, for example, pharmacies who we uh, uh, collaborate with when the patient comes into the pharmacy and remembers that uh, I'm going to Thailand, I would need these vaccinations, oh, but I have to get the prescription so they can, they can just sit beside the monitor and then they can take contact with us or, or, and, uh, and get the prescription and, and buy the, the vaccination. So in this kind of situation, it works very well. Of course, uh, there are many, many, very, very many things which you cannot take care of in a video appointment, and, and they are uh, unfortunately quite numerous also. And, and uh, this is not uh, in a. I don't. I, I, I would say that this is not re revolutionizing the medical industry. This kind of solution. Uh, uh, it is giving a new dimension or a new tool for us to be in contact with our patients. But of course, the treatment process and the medical treatment uh, is the most important thing that it's organized well in the bottom but this is a new tool to, to, to take care of the patients. We are now open for private patients during the day but we are uh, extending the hours so that we can be also be available 24-7 in the future. Well something about our technical requirements of course you have to have good internet connection uh, you, if you work with a computer, you have to be, have, a, of course, a camera, a loudspeaker, and a microphone. Uh, at the moment, the best uh, best browsers for this are Mozilla and Firefox. Unfortunately, the Microsoft Internet Explorer, which we which we uh, quite much use in Finland, for example, so it, whatever you use for uh, this kind of video appointment system, you have to download an extra software, and that's, of course, a little bit, uh, can be a little bit demanding for the consumer, but, but if you use uh, Firefox or Google Chrome, then you just can enter the system, enter the system directly. And then from your mobile device, uh, Apple iPhones, Android devices, and, and then we have an own app for, for, for this system. Uh, the program, of course, checks that everything is working before you go into the appointment. I will show a little bit more about that in the later slides. <clears throat> so, shortly, when you open the app, you choose to book a meeting, or you want to, if, if you want to talk with the uh, doctor directly, you choose uh, this, uh, this uh, service here, and, uh, or then if you have a, sign, uh, a booked meeting, then you sign in from the, from the third alternative. And then you choose if you're a private customer or an occupational healthcare customer, and then you book your doctor's appoint, uh, appointment, and, and then uh, by entering your social security number, then it then books the uh, individual person inside. And then you, uh, then you get an invitation, which I will show in the following slide. But then, alternatively, you can then enter our e-waiting room where you can uh, where you have an estimated time that how long it will take for the doctor to to uh, to be ready, and uh, then you just book your your information there and uh, and go on, and you get the invitation for, into your machine, and uh, you get a link where you can then when it's the time, so you can then just uh, then contact with uh, or or so to say go into the to the appointment. And as I said, the machine tests everything, that everything is working before the appointment so that you can check your camera, it's working, you choose yes, 
Can you hear the sound? Yes, microphone is working. Yes, go to meeting. And then you just go into the meeting and you have your doctor and the patient online. So, just a few words about this. This is not revolutionizing the medical industry, but this is something which is increasing and becoming more common. And we are welcoming these, these, these tools and, and this is the future. Please uh, welcome to visit our stand also upstairs if you're interested about occupational health care services. So we will be happy to tell about occupational health care services in the future and our model. Thank you for your time. <laughs>